Hi everyone, it's Taff. Welcome to B17 Squadron Commander. Okay, we got to go another day. The priority for us is still to hit the Luftwaffe um, targets, i.e. the engine manufacturing, the aircraft parts manufacturing, and all ball bearing plants or production, anything to do with Luftwaffe production. They are still our priority. So I have set the mission. It's one we have tried before, but we've been unsuccessful. Uh, unfortunately, we lost two crews last time, but we do have a new rookie crew. So, um, yep, let's head on to the briefing and find out where we're going today, if you can guess. Okay, here we go. January the 21st, 1944, the Bremen Fog Wolf Factory. I think this is our third attempt at trying to hit it. The weather has always been a nightmare going to Bremen. Uh, so, the secondary target is an oil refinery, and the tertiary is an industrial complex. We will be carrying four times one thousand pound semi armor piercing and four times five hundred pound anti personnel clusters. Distance to father's target is at one thousand one hundred and three miles of the journey. Fighter escorts we will have one squadron of P thirty eights and one squadron of P forty sevens. The Bremen Fockville factory flak strength will be high, fighter strength will be high, priority is very high. Damage is moderate. We have clipped it in the past, but we want to wipe it out. The oil refinery. Flak strength is high. Fighter strength is moderate. Priority is very high. Damage currently is high because we did hit it hard. And the, the, the industrial complex is flak high, fighter high, priority medium, damage currently none. That looks all well and above board. Let's have a quick look at the reconnaissance fill. Looks like the cloud was out for the recon as well. We've got the big river meandering there, and there we have the big Falkworth factory. As you can see, there is a a section of it to the uh, lower left, which is blackened, which we bombed last time, but there's the uh, large proportion of it is still in operation, and that will soon be repaired. So we're going to hit it again and try and wipe it out. Quick look at the route. Taken off up through North Norfolk. Uh, we'll be taking the top line and uh, going a little bit higher and a little bit wider. We'll be dropping down into Germany. Um, obviously, we've got a couple of fighters round, bases around here, but we should be going through this one flak ring, then flying pretty much over a fighter base, then out to the coast and uh, dive, dive for home. So hopefully it should be relatively... I'm going to say relatively quiet. Let's touch my wooden desk just to uh, see if we get some good luck. Um, but yeah, this only this bit's going to be a bit of a nightmare. But apart from that, it should be a relatively quiet to and from drive. Um, I've actually got a couple of recon missions which I haven't set, so I will set those now. Okay, now that I've set that, let's head off to the planes. Okay, here we are. Let's start these guys going. Start engines. As you can see, the nose art of Varga Venus, which is, of course, Vertigo. It's going to be our lead flight for this mission to Bremen. Got quite a bit of experience on that crew. Number two is Desperate Journey out for her fourth mission. See the, the nose art of the, uh, the the girl riding the bomb down. Number three, we have Killing Time, which is our rookie crew, Delta Rebel. So they are coming out. Meshing. Number th number four, oh yeah, yes, number four, which is of course Bride of Mars. She's out for her one, two, three, eighth mission, I think. Uh, so, quite an experienced crew there. Then we have the nose art of Black Magic, which is Luftwaffe Waterloo, coming out for her fifth mission, and she's got plenty of aircraft kills. Got some sharp eyed gunners on that one. And we have Lucky Lassie, which is of course Bomb Boogie, coming out for her second mission. So that's the cruise, they're the planes, and we are good to go. So we'll get these engines warmed up, we'll line up, and we'll take off, and I'll see you in a few minutes. Hi guys, welcome back. We are over the North Sea. As you can see, our lightning escort is just zooming in front of us. Beautiful. Um, we've just made the turn, and we will be taking uh, the German coast. So we'll be dropping off down the German coast. Bremen will be over here somewhere. Uh, so we're not not too far away now. It's been a, as I said, it's been a really quiet journey so far. Nothing to report. Everything has been going well. We are currently 
30,000 feet, or just dropped under, 150 miles an hour, and we're on heading 109. And all's well with the world as we currently stand. Um, I'm sure that will change pretty soon, so we'll skip on and I'll see you in a few minutes. Hi guys, welcome back. As we are finally making that turn, we've got only a short distance now until the decision point, which is about there. There's our friend, friendly escorts zooming off. Um, as you, the good news is, look at the weather. It looks very, very... It looks very fair, doesn't it? It looks absolutely gorgeous. This is the first time we've had a nice sunny day and we got our fighters are breaking off. We got our where where, where are those lightnings going? They're breaking off. Can't see anything, but They've gone past. Wow, didn't even see him. The 190s. What about 190s? We are going to bomb their base or their, their um, aircraft factory. Where these are probably produced. Uh oh, we got two smoky engines. Whoa, we got a bomber going down. Maybe got clipped. And we got two black smoky engines. In, on our bomber. Uh, we'll see how we're going. Uh, we seem to be dropping back. Okay, one and three are definitely no. One's one's smoky. The other has gone out. Okay, we might do the old dropping altitude trick so we can keep up with them. I may, uh, I may do that now, just to allow us to stay up because we seem to be reasonably okay. So if we drop that down to twenty-six thousand, then we can drop you down to oh, twenty-six would be okay. Twenty-five eight, that'd be fine. <laughs> it's just been a little bit temperamental. Uh, I'm predicting that the weather is going to be absolutely fine. So um, I'm only going to do the primary route at the moment. If I need to do the secondary or tertiary route, then we will. But uh, so far, so good. It, the weather looks fine. So let's just drop that down. Twenty, that's fine. We'll tidy, tidy that up in a second. Twenty feet. Okay, great. as we're diving as you see we have stabilized with the rest of the squadron and we should slowly start to creep back into formation which is great we are the lead flight after all um, so hopefully we'll be okay only got one smoky engine now but although we are dropped out of the protectiveness of the, the squadron I'm guessing we will be the prime target for anything that survived that initial barrage Top gun, got a good view from up here. Yeah, we go. We're coming back into formation. And it seems to have gone quiet, which is a good thing. Okay, we're recovering nicely, even with a smoky engine. Uh. Well, that's that's you can see that's got two trails off it, so that's definitely a lightning. That one, he's not interested in that, so I'm guessing they are just forming up again, which is great. And we are zooming in to uh, retake our position at the front of the front of the formation, which is good news. Okay, so we're back. We're back. Don't worry. We're okay. Uh, so we'll skip on, and hopefully in a few minutes we should have the decision point. So I'll see you then. Okay, we've reached the waypoint. We are making that turn. This is decision time. So let's go back to lead flight. Jump on the old radio and listen to the weather. Oh, hang on. We've just got to complete the turn first. Anything we can uh, tweak on here? Get a bit of music? No? This is, this is what we've reported so far, so 
waiting to begin mission. Begin mission began at 7:30. Outward leg 801. Okay, still waiting for further confirmation. But the turn has been completed. Oh, hang on a minute. She's struggling. Why is she dropping back? Because we're climbing. Why are we climbing? We shouldn't be. Did I miss one? Okay, let's drop that to 25,000 then. Let's listen to the weather forecasts. Weather at primary target is believed to be cloudy. What? Six tenths cloud at approximately nine thousand oh, feet. Heaven forbid! Bloody Bremen. Weather at secondary target is believed to be cloudy with six tenths cloud at approximately nine thousand feet. So tertiary is going to be fine. You listen. Weather at tertiary there target is believed to be. Bear with three tenths cloud at approximately. I'm going to call a load of rubbish on that one. We are going to go because I think oh, okay there is cloudy, but that is Bremen there. If I'm not mistaken, let's have a quick look. Yes, it is. That's Bremen. So we are going for that far corner. So we are going for here. Yes, it's cloudy, but I reckon we should be okay. We can always go around again if need be. So that's my decision. We are going to try and get that. You know, we are here to get that that football factory. So that is what we are going to go for. So we're going to continue on until we are ready for the bomb run or the next significant event happens. So I'll see you in a few. Okay, we are now on the. Well, we're making the final turn for the bomb run, and bomb doors below. We've got something over there. Yeah, that's it. I wonder what that was. I, I saw something. Whoa! They're behind us. A bad calling, boys. It's a bit late for that. A bit late, boys. We got we got a flaming one over there. He's going down. He's going down. He's flaming. He's going down. Beautiful. Wow. Okay. We got pincer movement going on. Taken from front and rear. You never like to be taken from front and rear, especially when everyone's looking forward. Okay. Let's have a look at the. Uh... There you go. You see. There's that bank of cloud, but we've chanced it, and I think we're we're going to be okay. There's patches in that cloud which we can see through anyway, so. I'll wait till we get a little bit closer before we uh, jump on that. We've got there. That looks like a lightning, and he's banking, and here we go, we've got 109 in front of him. Uh, flat coming in as well. Uh, got lightning. That light, the front one's a lightning. That's a lightning. So he's probably coming in. Bandit, one o'clock level, coming in. There's no way I'm going to be able to react in time if he comes shooting across. Bandit, coming in. Seven o'clock level. Bandit, coming in. Seven o'clock level. Can you see him? Unfortunately, we've got a big line of black smoke. Which is impairing vision slightly. Right, anyway, it's bomb it's bomb run. Let's have a look at the bombardier. Yeah, here he is. But this looks like it's thinner cloud and and there's I think we'll be able to look through the cloud at that stage. Bandit, six o'clock low, coming in. Go on, let's quickly switch. Six o'clock low. There he is. He's breaking away. Whoa! I'm not sure that was me. I'm going to take credit for it. Whoa. He 
you bail that, you can see the parachute. Bandit, three low, incoming. Three low. Anyway, just let the guys do their job. We'll flick back. Okay, it is cloudy, but look at that patch. That patch in the cloud is going to be our salvation, I believe. Here comes the flat. I'm not going to make any corrections just yet. There's not. There's no point when we can't see anything. Okay, we're coming to the edge of that cloud now. Whoa, tracer wind zooming past the, the uh, screen. Okay, so I can make out a building there and buildings there. He's actually on target. I think. Plenty, plenty of time to make we got another build. He's on target. I am quite okay with what he's targeted. Although, has he gone for a general one? Because you got these buildings here, and I think these are the ones we've hit. So I think he's slightly off. So let's just bring him in to about here. A little bit more over. Because this building looks damaged, so it's, it's this section we want to go for. Maybe actually, maybe slightly more over. Yeah, because those that that section all looks damaged, doesn't it? So if we stick it right about there, there's about five buildings we should be able to hit. Well. Ground. It looks like they've got the drift perfect. Shit, I don't want to bomb that far up. There we go, that's better. Steady, steady. Okay, I'm just going to leave it like that, and I think that should be okay. Oh, hey, we're gap in the cloud. Yep, we're still on, still on where we want it to be. Just a touch of drift has worked its way in. But that looks okay. Drift, slight drift. Indicator. Bombs away. Bombs away. Pilot for Bombardier. Autopilot navigator. It's all yours. Your new heading is two. Okay. Okay, so yes, this is this is the area I was bombing, aiming for. As you can see, all the damage we did last time, these factories are not completely destroyed but they are pretty much out of commission for the moment and we've got these ones all the way up here as well which look like assembly lines uh, so we we're aiming for around about here ooh, the, uh, the shadows are far away but ooh She's not completely destroyed it still, I don't think. But we've had another good hit at her. She's, um... Yeah, maybe we should have been a little bit over. That could have been the drift. That could have been the drift. But, hey, 
another direct hit on the uh, on the site. Maybe they'll just think twice about trying to repair it if they know we're going to keep coming back. And uh, probably not. But there we go. Let's have a quick check on the thing. So Viga Bar, sorry, Varga Venus, aka Vertigo, is still going. Um, a few issues. Crew's okay. Second, we have Desperate Journey. All okay. Then we have Killing Time, which is of course our rookie crew of Delta Rebel. They're doing okay. And then we have uh, Bride of Mars. Oh, tail gunner's down. Okay, they're, they're... Do you reckon they're gonna patch him up, or they're just gonna sit on the gun? Let's see. I want you guys help me. He's gonna fix Don't you up now, you are you? No, you're not. Okay, so the tail is quite an important thing. So Joseph, patch him up. I'm coming, man. I'm coming. Okay, great. So he's going to do some work there. Then we have Black Magic, which is Luftwaffe Waterloo. They are all fine and dandy. And then Lucky Lassie, which is, of course, Bomb Boogie. Doing grand. So we'll just keep an eye on... Um, Bride of Mars, make sure they patch up that tail gunner. And if all being well, we can uh, rejoin. Or he can uh, rejoin his duties and we'll get the radio operator back at his station. Is he okay? Is he okay? Of course, it also depends on the actual first aid skill of the guy dealing with the uh, casualty. I don't know the the individual crew skills. It would be nice if you could pull them up, mid, you know, mid mission. But I guess you know you wouldn't. If you, if you've got your own crew and it's you know you're just doing a historical mission, it's a lot easier to remember which guys have got the best medical skills. Okay, great stuff. We're all back and we're yeah, all good yeah. to go. So we'll skip on because it seems to have gone very quiet. We've uh, we've left the flag behind us. We've got the burning embers of the Fockwell factory over there in Bremen. And the fighter coverage seems to have left us as well. So while it's quiet, we shall try and sneak away. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Hi guys, welcome back. As you can see, we are still going. It's been so quiet. It's been eerily quiet. Uh, the lead flight is still smoking a wee bit from engine one as you can see over there in the distance but she's still going. We have now been joined as you can beautifully time zipping in front of us by some thunderbolts, a squadron of thunderbolts who are now um, protecting us on our final leg of the journey and the lightnings have all gone back to base. Everything's going quite well. The, uh, you can see the English coast there in front of us. We are currently over the North Sea. That is. Norfolk in front of us, Norfolk and Suffolk, and there is Europe behind. Um, yeah, so far so good. It's uh, just a quick look at the map. Should you want to final confirmation of where we are, there we are. So from that final bit of flak and nuisance around here, it's been plain sailing all the way back. So um, we've got a little bit of way to go now, but we are dropping down to 20,000 feet at that waypoint, then straight into. Uh, into Norfolk, no, it's Peterborough, isn't it? Yeah, and there's Lincolnshire, Norfolk, and then you've got Peterborough here. So we'll be dro dropping down into Peterborough uh, and going to Deanthorpe, which is, of course, our base, home base. So, yes, I don't expect any further dramas. So this, hopefully, is going to be a, a quickie, so to speak. So um, it'll be nice, nice ones, especially if we can get all these guys back home. So I'll skip on and I'll see you in a few. Okay guys, welcome back. Uh, we got a bit of drama. We've got um, lead flight. She's got number two engine out. So, um, yeah. Let's just get her to... Is she left formation? Yeah, I think she's left formation. And she's dropping down. We'll keep an eye on her. I, I think, let's say we're, we're over Norfolk, so we're not a million miles away. There's the wash there. King's Lynn there. Um, so we're not a million miles away from Peterborough, so I can probably fly this home should the, the AI not want to. It should be fine. Everyone else, as I say, they're a little bit further forward. There's Kingsley back there, so, you know, lead flight's probably around about there. 
the rest of the uh, squad is ploughing on regardless and they are okay. So I'm going to keep an eye on lead flight. I guess she's not lead flight. Oh, okay, so they've obviously promoted Desperate Journey to lead flight, but um, yeah, I'll keep an eye on Vertigo and uh, we'll see where how she goes. So, oh, she's pulling up, which is good news. So I'll keep an eye on her and uh, yeah, we'll see you for the final approach. Okay, I'm going to keep flying this till 255. We're at 239 now, so yeah. Uh, yeah, there's Kingslin. We probably won't be able to see the other bombers landing on this mission, but um, I think it's more important to try and get this guy home rather than watching the others land. Obviously, that can cause other issues. Uh, but yeah, I want to get Vertigo home. Yeah, so I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, here we are. We are coming in. Um, there's the air base there. We've got a bomber just landing in front of us, and when he's down, we are going to touch down. Oh, it's a bit tight actually. We've got two bombs on the wrong way, so I may well. Pilot to navigator, okay. Turn coming up. Yeah, we're not going to make that, so I'm just going to do a loop and come back in. Um, we're crossing the actual path of the other bombers, which isn't the greatest. Um, but we're back, and if I can just get this guy down, we should be good to go. We've got enough power in the other three engines, at the waypoint. Uh, so we can turn. Let's just gain a little bit more height. Let's get to about a thousand feet. Orbit and wait for landing clearance. Yeah, as much as I'd love to do that, we're going to come in because uh, we're in all sorts of bad shape. So um, I'm going to risk the wrath of the air traffic controllers and as long as it's clear there's no I can't see any bombers making a approach run so I'm going to do a turn and we are going to try and touch down Let's keep bringing around uh, I may not even touch down on the, if we can't get it straight enough to go on the runway, I don't care, we are going to touch it down as best we can. So I'm just looking through the slat in the roof, should we see in the airbase any minute? There you go, we come up to a thousand feet now, which is great. Have I gone past it? Where's this airbase? I've kept my eyes off it and I've lost it. Okay, there's the airbase. We're going to touch down on and off runway, as it were. So let's go lowering landing gear. Flying flaps. That's probably probably a bit too soon to lower landing gear, actually. But bombers overhead. Let's just have a look outside to make sure the landing gear it has not deployed correctly that's what I feared right so because I don't have voice commands and I can't order people down I'm just gonna go to super slow-mo and get him to as the engineer he can work the undercarriage is he gonna go yes he's going okay great let's go back to the pilot Oops, back to the pilot. And uh, take manual control and we will go okay, back to go. In we come. I say just if in case there's a uh, I'm going for that runway, but in case there's a bomber coming across, um, we will try and skip wide or anything and we'll try and adjust as need be. I keep it 165, that's fine. There does appear to be a bomber crossing that runway right about now. Or are they landing on that? They could be landing on that runway. Crap, okay. In that case, it's not really an option. Unless we bring it down on the grass. We'll bring it down on the grass alongside. It's a little bit dangerous, but um, it 
this bomber is in no shape to keep going. Well, it could potentially keep going, but I don't want it to. Um, I'm just going to try and touch her down. Whoa. Okay. We are down, and I'm trying to go. That's what I did not want it to happen. Oh, we're down, uh, and we're blocking the runway, unfortunately. But um, yeah, we oh, we we managed to clunk the wing on the way down as well. Whew. Okay, let's check on the other planes. Her there, we've got ah, killing time. Delta Rebel has landed, so she's completed her first mission. Okay, Lucky Lassie has just landed. Sorry I missed it because I was watching from the other crew, but you could have just about caught a glimpse of it. So, um, yeah, hopefully that was good enough. Sorry about that. I was, wasn't paying attention. So let's pop a little flare. Flick and a flare, and she's down the line, centre line. Three point landing? Probably not. No, tail down first, I think. She wasn't the tidiest of landings, but she's down, she's safe, and she's good to go another day. Okay, here we go. Desperate journey. She's got number three engine windmilling. She's obviously out of fuel there, but she's uh, coming down. Nice approach. Little flare. Oh, she's offline. She's whoa. She's well off. She's well off. Oof. Okay. She's damaged her landing gear, but she is down reasonably safely. Um, okay. Well, that wasn't the best, was it? But she's down, she, the, the crew are safe, and we'll get that repaired, and so she'll, she'll, she should be able to go a, probably not next time, but the mission after next, so, good, good landing. The oh, they're jokers in the tower, they really are. So yes, one more to go. Okay, wow, wowee. Okay, I've just literally grabbed this bomber from, um, I was going to say certain destruction, but it still looks like we've got certain destruction. Come on, give me everything, give me everything. We've got two engines out. And that is purely probably running out of fuel, which is a bloody nightmare. Right, where's this damn airbase? We're going to touch her down if we can. Two engines on one side, never the best, but we will see what we can do. And uh, yes. Let me just find out where the airfield is, and I'll... Oof, that was a good time to jump to this plane. Okay, so we're going to have to bring this round, if we can keep her in the air. Uh, she doesn't want to stay in the air. Okay, we might have to do an emergency landing on the field somewhere. Yeah, we're never going to get back to base. Okay, we're going to touch emergency landing in the field. Pilot, navigate. New heading is two, four, yeah, we're never going to make it. Two, we're never going to make it. We're going to touch down in these cornfields. Roger. Before we stall out. Whoa. Okay, we're going to lose the plane, but hopefully we'll keep the crew going. That is our priority. Whoa. Uh, okay. Brace. Oof. The engine's down. Get the keep the tail down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, she's down. Um, yeah, we were some way. She's obviously damaged that, but I don't think we'll be able to recover this plane. We'll probably lose Bride of Mars, but the good news is. The crew will survive, so that's a plus. Wow. Hi guys, welcome back to Debriefing. Wow, what a mission! That was going so well, and then it all went woof at the end. Ah, uh, wow. I'm drained. Let's have a quick read of the report, see what actually happened. So, January the 21st, 1944. The Bremen Fockwell Factory. Distance flown, zero miles. Bombers lost, missing, one. And I reckon that's Bride and Mars. 
Uh, long as the crew are okay, I'm you know we'll have to just yeah we'll we'll scrap the plane and uh, and we'll get another one. Enemy fighter shot down seven. It was classified a near miss when clearly clearly we hit it. Clearly we hit it. Anyway, um, crew injuries: Sulla light wound, Hitchens severe wounds. Okay, a near miss. Medals awarded: no promotions. Van Meteren, Distinguished Service Cross, well done. Sharil, Soldier's Medal, well done. Hitchens, Purple Heart, well done. Well, congratulations. Russell, Bronze Star, well done. Missing Cruiser Can for Bride of Mars, Force Landing in Friendly Territory. Um, yes, they survived. Nine active members, one injured crew, which is okay. I am reasonably happy with that. They all survived. We, we, unfortunately, we're going to have to scrap the plane by the looks of it, but the crew have survived, which is the main thing. Okay, let's have a look at the uh, any important news. No, it's just the reports of what happened on that last mission. Okay, great. Let's have a look at the bomber file. So, Vertigo. Wow, she's completed her sixth mission. Just, just, just managed to get her down. Wow, and... Um, and six kills. She's B status. Not surprising. She was handling like a bag of spuds. She was terrible. Amazing that I, uh, we got it. You know, it's a good job that she just started to trip out right at the end there. So we managed to bring her home. That's quite good. Bombshell Blonde. Not out this time, but she's got 10 missions. She's A status. She'll go out next time. Lightning Strike. Seven missions down. Um, eight missions. Com sorry, eight kills. And she's mechanically A status, which is great. Desperate Journey. Completed her fourth mission. Um, three kills. She's B status, so she'll need some repairs. Delta Rebel completed her first mission with a kill, and she's still active, which is great. Nine oh nine. Oh, there's a famous name if ever I've heard one. Um, rookie crew. So that'd be interesting. We're going to have a look at nine oh nine. Luftwaffe Waterloo completed a fifth mission. Nine kills to her name, and she's still active, which is great. Corn State Terror was not out this time. Um, but she's still damaged from the um, the previous raid to Castle. Um, four missions completed, eight kills. Blood and Guts, she's three missions down, three kills, and she's mechanically A status. Uh, Bomb Boogie completed her second mission, no kills, and she's still active. All American, obviously, she last time out she completed her first mission, she's still active. And that's it. So let's go and have a look at 909. 909, 909, 909. Oh yeah, she's got C Cup Snow's Art, which is which is not too bad, but um yeah, 909. A new crew with a famous name. It'll be interesting if we can have a look at the crew to see if they were the same as by the Mars. I will check that out later because I can't remember right now. But they could be actually also in the uh, in the replacements crew. Oh, I'll tell you what we could do. Should we just have a quick check on that? Let's go back here. Um, oh, look at that. Meet the mission briefing room. Doesn't it look... Oh, God, that's scary. No, let's go uh, in here. The It'll be in here, won't it? There we go. Um, so if we have a look for Bride of Mars, so she got Drake, Com Commissar, McDarmid, Hall, Copeland, Whitley, DeLong. Okay, let's just see if that is the crew of 909. Um, no! <laughs> well, that answered that one, didn't it? Okay, well, there we go, guys. Another mission down. We have lost a bomber, but we did not lose the crew. So, all in all, it's not a bad m mission. We struck at the Fogwell factory, although they're claiming it's near miss. I'm sure it was far better than that. Um, but another mission down, and all the crews are slightly more experienced, which is good stuff. And a new rookie crew into the fold as well, which we'll, uh, we'll, we'll have a look at them next time and take them up. Wow. Okay, thanks for joining us. Another mission down. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, hit that thumbs up and join me next time for more B-17 Squadron Commander.